In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to create a halftone effect using the Fusion tab. The halftone effect is a really awesome effect that you see all over Vox animations, and they also just add a really cool kind of comic book style to a lot of your animations. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to create that really quickly. First thing that I'm going to do is just check my project settings, timeline, timeline settings. I'm using a 1920 by 1080p timeline and color. I am using a DaVinci YRGB or I'm using DaVinci Color Manage workflow and my monitor is set to Rec. 709 Gamma 2.4, so I'm going to go ahead and click that, and then we can go ahead and start. I'm going to go ahead and bring a Fusion clip in here and hop into Fusion. Inside of Fusion, I'm going to go ahead and bring down Usain Bolt, and I'm going to also create a background layer. Here's a background node. I'm going to click it into Media Out, go ahead and view that on my screen, and then I'm going to put Usain Bolt on top right here. How to create the halftone effect is a very simple effect to make. I have this in the description above. You can go ahead and head over to the Google Drive so you can download all of these so you can use these on your projects too. This is just a screen grab from, I believe, Google. So what we are going to do, simply I'm gonna just scale him up just a little bit so he's easy to see. And I'm also show you how different, different ways that you can stylize this. The first thing I wanna do is just merge this on top of our media right now okay so this is merged on top and all i need to do now is just come into here and change this merge from canvas to mirror so that we can see it nice and mirrored now i can scale this down a little bit and then from there all we need to do is come down and pick what kind of apply mode that we would like i tend to go with either multiply or overlay let's go ahead and just use overlay and you can see what that's doing is that is adding all these black dots on top of Usain Bolt right here. I like to make this effect really, really small. So I'm going to go ahead and just shrink this down as much as I can. I think that's looking good. Um, something that I like to do on top of this effect is just go ahead and add a color corrector. And we're going to add that right before the merge. And with this color corrector, I'm going to go ahead and just turn down the saturation on Usain Bolt and increase the contrast a little bit. And now you can kind of see that halftone effect happening on top of him right there. Now, there's a couple of things that you need to know about doing it this way is now, if we look at our background, we actually don't have an alpha channel on our background. So if I turn the alpha down on our background, so we need to actually make sure that we are masking out Usain Bolt so that way we can still have things on our background. So what I'm going to do is just grab this output right here and apply it to the merge to node that the halftone effect is going into. And now you can see that's giving us a good solid alpha behind us. So now that we have that, what we're also going to do is just change Usain Bolt's color right here. So let's grab him and Let's do control C, control V, and we're going to merge him on top again. So now we have two different sets of him, and I'm just going to go ahead in between, after in between the color. So let's go ahead and delete that color, and let's go ahead and add a color generator. Go ahead and add that. We can add that in right here. And now what that's going to do is go ahead and give us a nice solid color. We can move them over the side and we can also add the halftone effect into this color also and you can see it happening over there so let's go ahead and just change this to a nice color like that and of course we can always change the sizing of this so we can make sure we're getting that and we can even change the apply mode that we're using so on this one i might want to go ahead and use an overlay let's try multiply and now you can see that different effect that you have on there so that is a simple way to go ahead and create the halftone effect and of course now that you have these let's go ahead right click and group those together and we can always just add a transform node right here and a camera shake and now a little too much so let's go ahead i'm going to delete that camera shake and add the second one add this camera shake and we can use this as a way to animate and have a really stylized animation inside of our fusion compositions. 
That is how to create the halftone effect inside of DaVinci Resolve. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and uh, well, love you. Bye.